This is Severe MMA. We're at Cage Warriors 82, the Echo Arena, and we're alongside Ross Houston, who arguably, I'm putting words in your mouth maybe, but this has got to be a pretty big win for you. Dylan McLaughlin in the Echo Arena, in front of all of those fans. Talk, talk to me about that fight and that 31-second performance. I'm buzzing, man. Um, like you say, Dylan was a tough dude. I really had to prep for this undefeated fighter. Come from next generation, a real good gym. Um, but that's MMA, you know, one mistake, put a bit of a bad neck posture and you get punished for it. So, uh, like I say, in the in the, in the press conference of the cage, respect for getting in there, but um, it's what happens. It's either me or him, isn't it? Amen, and, and you know, you, you saw the mistake almost yeah. immediately and you capitalized. Did you think, were you starting to think like, hey, this is Christmas, you've just, get, the moment you got a hold of it, look finished. Yeah, I, I thought, I was, like watching his past fights, he added el his elbows flare quite wide, didn't he? He's got like a tie background, so I've been working on the body kick a bit, but it was a bit of a, a, bit of a crap body kick that I threw, so he actually caught it, and I think he went to like take me down, like a, a knee kick or something like that. Um, but his neck posture, you know, he was looking to the ground, so I, I felt the arm slip underneath the chin, and I was like, yo, I'm finishing this, but I had him in my mind, I don't know, literally whilst it was happening, I was thinking the John James Machida game yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. And I, I thought, I knew it was tight, so I thought he's going to pull guard or something, I'll fall to his back and I might lose it, so I just pushed him up against the cage wall so we couldn't go anywhere, and I was like, yo, he's got to be going out. I could, I could feel like the cracking in his neck, man, it's nasty shit, nasty. It, it's, one of those, it's one of those cases where you, as soon as you got it, signed it locked, you knew that there was no... Game over. It's, you know, it was one of these ones, like two types of guillotine, you can get the high elbow or underneath the hand, and they're really hard to defend. When you get underneath the hand like that, especially when you start pushing up against the wall, it's just a savage choke, man. I quit. And, uh, yeah, not many escapes. Well, and not a, not an escape tonight. You know, again, Dylan comes in with a huge reputation. He's a he was an undefeated prospect that a lot of people were keeping their eyes on, and you've derailed that in front of his hometown. Again, how, how, how does that have being the spoiler, man? You know, how does that? It's you, not the first time, you know. I've, I've this is the second time I fought on Cage Warriors as a professional. My first fight was on Cage Warriors Wales, and I was fighting in Newport against a hometown favourite. He was something like six and one as an amateur, knocking everyone out. I stood with him, you know. I, you know, I stand with anyone. I, I, I rarely shoot for the takedown, but I don't mind being on the ground. But I stood with him, and again, he, he took me down and armbarred him. But you know, I don't get faced by the pressure. I almost feel better on the big shows. I feel like it's where I belong. So. Um, yeah, happy days. Is it a case, you know, is it a case of hello world, Ross Houston is here? Is this was this kind of a, a, a standout? Are you sending a sending a message to the prospects, man? Definitely, definitely. You know, I train with some, I train with real good welterweights all the time, and uh, I feel I belong up there. You know, I'm growing in confidence and skill set with each fight. I put in so many hours in the gym. I run my own gym up in uh, in Vanessa, SPG in Vanessa, and. Uh, I train at SPG Murray and down at SPG Manchester, the likes of you know yeah. Matt Emma, Sol Rogers, Stapes, Alex Enland and all that. So um, I'm getting real good training. I'm putting in the hours. It's not you struggle to find someone who puts in more hours than me. I really train hard. So uh, I think that's the key. You want next? You know, I'm not asking you to call anyone out or talk shit, but I already did. <laughs> so what, then continue to you know talk what? shit and call out. Who do you want? I didn't get. I got. I got offered his name. So um, go on. My manager James Green said that there was possibility that I could fight Aaron Khalid next from Wales. Yeah, yeah. I think he's he's on a good win streak as well. Yeah. So I, you know, I've seen him. Like I say, I said he got lucky in a few of his fights. You can never get lucky in MMA because you finish a fight, you don't finish fight, whatever. But um, I've seen holes in his games, and I think I can I can derail that hype train as well, without a doubt. So if Ian Dean can make that happen, let's do it, man. Be uh, a good fight. We're hoping you hoping to get in again. Three months, four months, how long? Three weeks, man. Three let's weeks. Let's do it. Let's right. do it. I took no damage there. I feel mint. I feel mint. Ross, it was a hell of a performance against a hell of an opponent. Congratulations on a huge my win. Man, Thank you so man. much for your time. Can I just say one thing? I don't know, but like it'll get uh, publicized, but. I had a massive banner of all my sponsors, you know, the safe MMA thing now, it's expensive, so I had so many sponsors supporting me. We've put it somewhere in the Echo Arena, I think someone's, one of the amateurs picks it up by accident, so apologies to all my sponsors who were on that banner. So, um, yeah, feel free, name it. Okay, so obviously I've got the Larder, from Inverness, Spa Builders Limited, GM Leach. I'll have to take my top off here. Ah, it's I'll get out of shot. I can't do it top of my head. Now get it off his ass. Boys. Hammer and Therapeutics. Apologies if I forgot you, but I really appreciate the support, man. Ross, congratulations. A hell of a performance. Awesome,